All right, what up, what up? How's everybody doing tonight? Let me pull some chat up so I can see if there's any chat yet. Doesn't look like it. So how about that Braves Cardinals, huh? It's ridiculous. What's up, Josters? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, man, that was like the most competitive series, it seemed like. Up until the Rays came back and won two straight against the Astros. The um, Cardinals-Braves seemed like the most competitive series. And then the last one is just a total flop. <laughs> And it's funny because I'm a Braves fan, and I'm like watching the game, I'm watching the first inning, and I, I just start laughing. <laughs> I just start laughing because it was it was just getting so out of hand. Um, it was like, man, talk about taking, you know, anything to cheer about in that game away from you in like the first 15 minutes of the game. There was like nothing, nothing uh, Braves fans can do. What's up, uh, Scotty? What's up, 25 Perez? How y'all doing? Yeah, it was like it just it totally deflated that whole game. I felt so bad for like the announcers because <laughs> like you know these announcers come into come into the game and they got all these storylines written out and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna talk about this at this at bat. We're gonna talk about this at this at bat. You know, we're gonna talk about Flaherty. We're gonna talk about you know Freeman stinking it up in the series. And then like a team scores a. Uh, 10 runs in the first inning and like their whole story sheet just goes out the window. They're like, uh, okay, what do we talk about the rest of the game? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll talk about how the, uh, how the Cardinals should line up their rotation for the championship series. But yeah, that was, that was a, that was a rough game for us Braves fans. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is like, if you've been a Braves fan long enough, it's not even like that deflating. Because <laughs> we've had some deflating games, and that one wasn't even, I wouldn't even put that in the top five of deflating games. It was more hilarious that it was over before they even had to, had an at-bat. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see y'all hopping in the stream. So who y'all got on the uh, Dodgers Nets tonight? I'm actually hoping the Dodgers win. And I'm not a Dodgers fan. I just don't want the Nats to win. <laughs> now, if we had, if the Braves had won today and made it on, then I would hope the Nats would win because I wouldn't want to face the Dodgers. 25 Perez says, go Yankees. Yankees going to have their hands full with, uh, if, if the Astros make it through as expected, they're going to have their hands full. I mean, the Astros are good. Yankees are good too. And and I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say I hope the Astros win the World Series because I'm not a Yankees fan and I I blame one person for that Jim Lairitz. <laughs> My salt factor for the Yankees is still high just because of Jim Lairitz. Okay, so we have Astros over the Dodgers. Okay, so Joe's got the Dodgers passing through, which is understandable. They are the Probably the best team on paper in the NL. I definitely don't see... I mean, the cards are moving on. I definitely don't see the cards beating the Dodgers or the Nets. I mean, the, card, the, the Cardinals have one of those scrappy teams that can scrap out wins. But uh, I don't see them having the pitching to get past either the Dodgers or any American League team. What's up, Isaac? ¿Cómo está? I hope everybody's having a wonderful night. If you're a Braves fan, I know it's probably a tough night, but what can you do? That's part of being a fan. You can't really do much about it. You just got to watch it and be appreciative that your uh, team actually had a good season. So, at a, people that are in this break, I think only Amyo's in the room right now. Uh, Big Harv's on the West Coast, so he's probably at work still. Um... Reindeer Studios got into the break. Uh, Danny from 12, 12 Again Sports and Outdoors said he wasn't going to be able to make the break. Um, I think Deafness was going to be in the break. 
and Waxman. I haven't seen Waxman around in a while. Yeah, Isaac, 10 runs, it does hurt, but at the same time, it's kind of funny because, like, after they, uh, after they gave up a couple runs, actually, after they walked in that second run, I was like, oh, yeah, it's about to get bad. But then they gave up a couple more, and it was four to nothing. And then after the four to nothing, you're like, all right, well, you know, this pretty much puts you in a bad situation when you got a hit against Jack Flaherty. And then scored a couple more, and then a couple more, and then, then it's, you know, nine nothing. <laughs> and at that point, you're like, okay, well, there's nothing really more to cheer for on this game. <laughs> and, and even like, you know, you feel sorry for the Braves players too, because, you know, with the exception of the, you know, the Freddie Freeman error in that first inning, it's like, what can you do? You know, your pitchers are just giving up hits left and right and they're walking batters. And heck, you don't like, now you get to bat, you're already down 10. You know, it's like, oh crap, you know, now what? And then you get up there and you're like, trying to press and swing and hit home runs every pitch. It's a tough situation to be in. All right, we're going to give it a few more minutes. All right, Reindeer Studios here. What's up? If anybody isn't subbed to uh, Reindeer Studios, definitely check out Reindeer Studios. does awesome work, awesome drawings and stuff. Hard to pick up the pieces after 10 runs. Yeah, it is. It just deflates deflates all the, the hype you might have had going into the game. But, you know, I, actually, I don't put this loss. I mean, the, the series has been so close. Games have been so close. Come from behind wins. Um, I actually put this loss on the, the Braves manager for setting up the rotation wrong. I mean, everybody knows Mike Soroka. If you're a Braves fan, you know Mike Soroka is the best pitcher on your staff. And I realize he's young and all that, but they only gave him one start. How do you give your ace one start in the NLDS? Ah, oh, why is Nightbot acting the fool? Let me fix that, Joe. Let me fix Nightbot. Nightbot ain't going to be timing people out for that crap. Uh, let's see, Nightbot. <laughs> you love Nightbot Joe? Yeah, but I, I, I thought I fixed all that uh, to where it wouldn't do it. Let's see, what did time you out for? Emotes. All right, it should be up to like 30 emotes. Were you trying to put in like 25 emotes, Joe? <laughs> What's up, Stemmer's Hits? How you doing, buddy? All right, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. And then we're going to be on to the pack picker. So Amyo and Reindeer Studios don't go away because we're going to jump into the pack picker game. Where is my... So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the 24 packs that are going to be part of this pack mixer break. And then uh, we'll go ahead and randomize the teams. And then I'll give you, if anybody's in the room, want to trade teams or whatever, we'll give a few minutes for trades. And then we'll break into the break. Said your son comes home, Stimmers. Um, Stemmers, this break is full, uh, but there will be another one of these probably next week at some time. I'll probably put up the new one either tomorrow or Friday. Um, but yeah, this one is full. 
So, Stemmers, you said your son comes home. Is your son coming home from college, military? What? Okay, so it's your weekend. That's cool. And you said there's three there's three shows. Are those card shows or what kind of shows are those? He's ten. It's always great to spend time with your kids, man. Oh, your channel's gonna have three shows this weekend. I got you. I got you. That's cool. Does he get excited about being on a YouTube channel? Joe, I haven't watched any uh, Clearly Authentic be opened. I saw Striker had a video up of it, um, but I didn't actually watch any of it. All right, Joe, I gave you a wrench, man. Don't abuse it. <laughs> Don't spam my channel, Joe. <laughs> Hold on one sec, I'm sending a text. And Donruss Ragpack with uh, Ken Griffey. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's really cool. Heck, I don't even have a uh, Ken Griffey rookie in my collection. I've never wanted to, like, buy one. I've always wanted to pull one from a pack, but, like, never had the luck to pull one from a pack. Of course, I haven't, like, tried that hard. It wasn't like I bought a bunch of 89 product searching for Ken Griffey. Alrighty, let's see here. We got the draft board set up. Pack pickers ready to go. All right, so uh, Amio and Reindeer Studios, y'all, y'all still in the room? Thanks, Joe. Awesome. Reindeer Studios. What we're going to do is I'm going to click begin here. You're going to see 100 boxes pick up or show up on the screen. Uh, give me a number between 1 and 100. So what you're looking for on here is some good packs like uh, Topps Chrome Hobby. Um, what you're trying to avoid is some of the cheaper packs, which help keep the price down, like uh, opening day hobby and wax packs. All right, 23. The first one is Diamond King's Retail Pack. All right, Amyo, you bought four spots. You give me four numbers, my man. Twenty-three for Anthony Davis. Joe, you gonna give us a player for each number? <laughs> See, I would I would have said twenty three for Michael Jordan. <laughs> it's a fun little game y'all could play in the chat. Whenever somebody picks a number, everybody else can throw out their favorite players over to wear that number. So number seven, number seven for who, who wore number seven? John Elway, right? So seven got a gallery mega pack. Uh, twenty four. I can't think of a 24 off the top of my head. <laughs> Jeremy Lin for 7. A big league hobby for 24. Let's see, 43. That's a tough number to think of. Who the heck wore 43? 43 is a repack 
Card obvious repack and sixty nine. Sixty nine is opening day hobby. <laughs> Kobe, big harv says Kobe. Big Harv, welcome to the room, my bud. Um you bought two spots, big harv, give me two numbers from one to one hundred. Sixty nine, we all wear this number. <laughs> Griffey Jr. is twenty four. Very good. Twenty five Perez. Pat Burrell. I don't I don't think I know of any player that wore forty three or sixty nine. Big Harv says seventy one. Seventy one is Bowman Platinum Retail. And 53. 53? Another Bowman Platinum Retail. That was pretty good odds on that one. 43 was the Eck. Nice. I did not know that. 71 or 53 are also tough numbers. Unless you could think of... Uh, 71 would be an offensive lineman's number. 53 would be a center's number in the NFL. Don Drysdale, 53. Look at Joe, man. Joe just throwing out all these numbers. Joe, are you uh, are you just typing in jersey numbers into baseball reference? <laughs> all right. So the next two would be, let's see, 12 again is not going to make it, but he did give me some numbers to pick. He wanted 22 and 44. So 22, Archives Retail, and another repack. Oh, you wore those numbers, Big Arv? That's awesome. Let's see. Waxman. I don't think Waxman is in the room. Deafness. Deafness in the room. I don't think Deafness is in the room. Terry B. I don't know who Terry B is on YouTube. They didn't put a YouTube name in their order. So if Terry B is in the room, make yourself known. If not, we'll circle back around to Reindeer Studios. Jared Allen wrote or 69. Jared Allen was a weird dude. Terry B, welcome to the stream, my man. Thanks for buying in the break. Um, give me two numbers between 1 and 100. This is where we choose the random packs for our pack mixer. I don't know, Isaac, does Joe really have a super memory? I think Joe's just very fast at Google. 34 and 59. All right, 34 is opening day hobby, 59. Wax pack. All right, so let's uh, loop back around to Reindeer Studios. Reindeer Studios, Scott, you're still in the room. Give me another number. It's all good, Big Hard, man. I appreciate the time that you gave me. Or Hershiser 55. Another repack. Card obvious repack. All right, Amio, you're up. You give me four numbers, bud. And Big Harvey will be next. If you're still around to give me two more numbers after Amio. Seventy six. Another gallery. Gallery from the Mega Box. 10. Donruss Jumbo Pack. It's not bad. It's a lot of cards. <laughs> Joe has a Google side. Joe's like one of the only people in America that still has Google Glass. He's making the most of it. <laughs> Dose. Number two. Opening day hobby. Give me one more. And then Big Harv says one in 99. All right, 99. 
99 is a Chronicles retail. That's not bad. So, Big Harv, you want 1 in 100? You want the bookend numbers? All right, we'll do that. 1. Another repack, 100. Big League Hobby Pack. All right, and then it's back to 12 again. Let's see. He gave me a list of numbers. He likes the double evens, so you want 66 and 88. 66, opening day hobby, 88. Archives retail. Terry B. Unless Waxman or Deafness are in the room, Terry B, you get the next two picks. It's all good, Amio. Uh, he picked 100 and you picked 100, so we got 99 and 100 in there. Yeah, Joe, it was, uh, they were eliminated before they got the second out of the game. <laughs> 92 and 46. All right, 92, 46. Gallery Mega. Optic Mega. Still haven't seen a uh, Chrome Hobby Pack get in there. Uh, Scotty from Reindeer Studios. Give me one more and then Amio. Braves definitely need pitching. And I don't think they're going to re-sign Keuchel. Unless he takes a big pay cut. Yeah, I mean, pitching is everything in the playoffs. Doesn't matter how good your offense is. Omar Vizquel, number 13. Slick Glove. Another Optic Mega Pack. All right, Amyo, you get one more pick, buddy. One more pick, and then we'll close out. That'll close out the 24 packs. Omar should be in the Hall of Fame. I agree, Joe. 100%. I mean, if Ozzy could get in on defense, Omar could get in on defense. And Omar was a better hitter than Ozzy. Amio says number 18. Number 18. It was Peyton Manning's number, wasn't it? Gallery Mega. So no Topps Chrome hobbies in this one. That is surprising. So that is our list of the 24 packs. Two Bowman Platinum retails, a Diamond Kings retail, one 2018 Donruss Jumbo Pack, two Optic from the Megas, four Galleries, two Archives, two Big League hobbies, one Chronicles retail, Four opening days, four card obvious repacks, and a wax pack. Wax man, welcome, man. You just just missed the the picking of the packs, man. Sorry, bud. But you can see on screen what packs you will be getting. But since you are in the room, we are just about to do the team draft. I'm gonna copy all these over into a notepad. So I have a backup of them. And we are going to switch over to the draft. All right. Can everybody see the draft board on their screen? <laughs> Waxman says he's the only Waxman. <laughs> Joe, what do you mean, not anymore? Not anymore, you can't see the draft board? or Okay, so Amio says he can see the draft board. All right, so we are about to randomize the teams. And <laughs> Reindeer Susan says, I'm the only reindeer. All right, let's go. Let's see what everybody gets. Good luck, everybody. Reindeer Studios with the Cubs and Angels. Amio got Pittsburgh, the Padres, the Diamondbacks, the Nationals, Mets and A's, Brewers and Yankees, Big Harv got the Marlins and Reds, Astros and Blue Jays, 12 again got the Rangers, Indians, White Sox and Rays, 
Waxman got the Orioles, Tigers, Braves, and Mariners. Deafness got the Dodgers, Royals, Red Sox, and Twins. Terry B, you got the Rockies, Giants, Phillies, and Cardinals. So I'm going to give you all a few minutes if you want to do any trades. Uh, if any of you want to trade for one of 12 again, te- 12 again sports and outdoors teams, let me know because he sent me a list of uh, the teams that he would take. So if there's any of those teams you want, let me know and we'll see if we can work out a deal. But I'm going to give you about five minutes to make any trades. Uh, you're not going to hear me talking on the microphone because I'm going to go ahead and pull all these packs for the break. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, I am back. Anybody have any uh, teams they wanted to trade up? Or are we going to stand pat? Uh, 
Uh, Reindeer Studios, let me see. Yeah, if, let's see. Let me double check his list. Because I think the Cubs were on his list too. Uh, yeah, Scott, if you want to trade the Indians for the Cubs, we can do that. Let me know how that sounds to you. Deal, Indians for the Cubs. Alright, so the Indians going to come up here to Reindeer. Cubs the 12 again. Amio would like the Yankees. Yeah, <laughs> I see, Joe, you, you caught your mistake. Yeah, Amio got the Yankees. <laughs> um, I know Big Harv would like the A's, but I don't think, I think Big Harv had to sign out because he said he could only stay for a couple minutes. Who wants the Orioles? I don't think anybody wants the Orioles, Waxman. I mean, if BITG was in the break, he might want the Orioles. He's like the only Orioles fan I know of. And I know, like, a lot of people get upset when their teams are in the playoffs and they lose. You know, the Twins got knocked out. Or the Brewers didn't make it past the wild card game or the A's. You could always be an Orioles fan. Or a Pirates fan. Or a Marlins fan. <laughs> it's a bunch of teams that didn't make the playoffs. Terry B said he'd take the Orioles, uh, Wax Man. Yeah, BITG would definitely take the Orioles. All right, so one more minute for trades. We'll let uh, Terry B and Waxman work out their trade. Are you logging in the Minecraft Waxman, really? <laughs> All right, Terry B. He said the Giants for the Orioles. If you agree with that, I'll go ahead and switch them up for you. Done. Awesome. Giants for the Orioles. All right. Trading is complete. We will roll with what we got. Just let me know if y'all need to see the teams again. I could always pop this window back up. But right now we're going to hide it. Here's all our packs. So much random goodness here. Look at that. Four Kyrie Hobbyist repacks. One wax pack. It's going to be 87 tops. Good old classic 87 tops. Gallery. 2018 Optic. The Don Russ Fat Pack. And that thing is fat. 30 cards in that pack. 
2018 Diamond Kings. A couple Bowman Platinums for 2018. Here's your budget packs. Four opening days. Two big leagues. One 2019 Chronicles. And two Archives Retails. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this and start ripping. Good luck, everybody. Let's uh, let's open the 87 wax pack first, since we only got one wax pack in here. Somebody's going to end up with the gum card. A little bit of wax on this back card, too. Well, the gum's not too bad, but you can see there's a gum stain on it. And these kind of have a funky little bend to them, but they're not creased or anything. Bobby Thigpen right there. Spring Fever Baseball, trip to four to the 1988 Spring Training Camp of the team of your choice. Alrighty. Let's turn off my autofocus, get the focus right so you get a good picture there of Jeff Reed. Alright. Jeff Deadman, two Jeffs starting off the pack. We got an Angels Leaders, Ricky Wright. Ricky looks wrong in that picture. Ricky looks hungover in that picture. Mike Greenwell, Andy Allenson, cup card, Mike Lacoste, Padres leaders, Bobby Thigpen, Bobby Valentine, couple Bobbies there, this one's got print errors all over it, you see all these little red dots, no that's not glitter, that's print errors, Lance Parrish for the Tigers, there's a Pete Rose, Pete Rose for the Reds, that one's going to Big Harve, Eddie Whitson, Donnie Hill, Chris Welsh, Jeff Stone, and Rob Wilfong. So Pete Rose, the best pack of, or the best card from 87. So that was the one and only wax pack in this break. Congrats to Big Harv on the Pete Rose. Uh, we'll do the card obvious repacks. We got four of these. <laughs> This guy said, no, that's glitter. If I want it to be glitter, it'll be glitter. All right, we got Marcelo Zuno. He just had a very nice series with the Cardinals. A-Rod. Bryce Harper for the Nets. Mookie Betts to the Giants. Uh, Buster Posey. So this is going to Waxman. Uh, one of these Manu patch cards. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki rookie card. Going to Terry B. That's a nice little one. Fernando Valenzuela. 83 going to the Dodgers, going to Deafness. And a Harrison Bader rookie going to the Cards. We got the Cardinals, Terry B. And a Noah Syndergaard, Noah Syndergaard opening day going to Amio. So these repacks, I figured throwing these into the pack mixer break would be pretty fun because I don't even remember what I put in these because I made them so long ago. So the next repacks got. Andrew Miller with the Indians. Michael Waka 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 with the Cardinals. Got a Zach Grinky Prism Refractor from Optic. JD Martinez, New Age Performers. Got an Evan Longoria uh, jersey here. Evan Longoria from 2014 Allen and Ginter. So we actually got a hit out of the repack. Uh, going to the Rays. Who got the Rays? Danny from 12 again. Congrats, Danny. You also got a Yadier Molina, stars of the game. Billy Burns. Billy Burns uh, going to the A's. Amyo. Um, Tim Salmon. Good old 94 tops card there. And a Chris Bryant cup card. Chris Bryant cup card. Alright, third repack. Set these to the side over here. We got a James Paxton going to Amyo. Um, Jason Hamill. Matt Chapman. Got a San Diego Chicken. 83 San Diego Chicken. Actually, I think this is a reprint. Um, yeah, this is actually from... This says 2002, but I think it's 2003 Donruss. San Diego Chicken. Got a Mike Trout. Mike Trout going to the Angels. Who ended up with the Angels? Reindeer Studios. You got you a Mike Trout. 83 design. We got a Rob Refsnyder, the Rookies. Steven Piscotti. David Price. And Yachty Molina. Alright, last repack. 
and then we'll work through the budget packs and everything else after that. So we got a Robbie Cano, Michael Brantley Prism, rolled as Chapman Calling Cards, Fan of the Soaps, uh, Chris Bryant, uh, Big League 2018, this is one of those uh, Players Weekend, I think it was, um, variations. We got a Jake Bowers 150, 150th anniversary. And it, this one is serial numbered out of 150. So that's going to the Rays. Going to Danny. Got a JoJo Reyes Gold out of 2008. Got a CC for Amyo. Got a Raphael Devers. Raphael Devers for Deafness. And another Yachty. So a couple Yachties in those repacks. And we are done with the repacks. Alright, so... I'm going to move on and do the opening days and the big leagues next. And then we'll get into the rest of the pack. So, good luck, everybody. I see a rookie right on the back. Mr. Jeff McNeil. All right. Francisco Lindor. I don't know, my focus went all wonky. Jose Leclerc, Christian Stewart rookie card. Pretty cool little Ozzy Smith there. 150 years of fun. Going to the Cardinals. Uh, Mikhail Franco, Corey Seeger, and a Jeff McNeil rookie card. Jeff McNeil rookie card. Very nice. I'll sleeve the Jeff McNeil rookie. I mean, he's no Alonzo, right? But, solid Ricky. If I get him in the penny sleeve. So we got one good rookie for Amio. Amio says he wants Pete Alonzo, but you're not going to find Pete Alonzo in opening day. You are fishing in Minecraft. <laughs> well, fish me out some blaster boxes, wax man. We got a uh, Masahiro Tanaka. Schwaber, Kyle Schwaber. Ooh, look at that Kyle Schwaber. Pretty sweet there. Look at these considered blues. It's not numbered, I don't think. I don't see it numbered. I always thought the blues in opening day were numbered. That's a pretty little card there for opening day. Put that one in a penny sleeve. Nice shiny. Nice shiny card there. Move the rest over here. We got a Jim Palmer for the Orioles. 150 years of fun. There's an insert for you, Terry B. Kyle Tucker, rookie. I'll put that in a sleeve. Zach Granke. Got lit up when he played the Blue Jays. And a J up. Justin Upton. I need to just grab a few of these penny sleeves and lay them on the table. So I have to quit, quit reaching in the pack for them. Has the uh, Dodgers Nats game started yet? Since I'm not watching it right now, just uh, keep me updated on the score in case anything crazy happens. You know, like 10 runs in one inning type of crazy. All right. Anthony Rendon. This dude's gonna about to get paid. Alberto Mondesi. Josh James. I've seen a lot of him this year. Lease in packs. Got an opening day for the Royals. James Paxton. Jorge Polanco. And Noah Syndergaard. Nothing really going in that pack. Last pack of opening day. We got Carlos Martinez, Corey Kluba, Sin Shu Chu. It's a cool pitcher. T 
Byzantine traditions and celebrations. What does that say? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> A Utah Street? Is that how you said that? Utah? Like the state, but spelt different? It's a cool picture, though. Like the alley between the warehouse and the Baltimore Stadium is pretty cool. We got a Ramon Lori Armo rookie. Josh Hader. And this guy, I don't even want to say his name. Because that guy's not cool. All right, let's move on to big league. Come on, Alonzo. Come on, Tatis. Come on, Eloy. I think those are the big rookies in this. All right. Got a Matt Olson. Justice Sheffield. Andrew McCutcheon as a Philly. Boy, the, he was... Phillies really went downhill when Kutch got hurt. We got a Josh Bell. Got a Marcelo Zuna blast off. I've seen enough of this guy this fall. Our gold is CJ Cron. CJ Cron going to the Twins. Justin Turner. Michael Conforto. Trevor Richards. And Christian Yelich. Throwing his hands up like what? Yeah. I won the MVP, so what? Alright. Utah, Terry B says. Utah Street. We got a Glaber on the back. Where's Spidey at? It's a beautiful day in the Glaberhood. Beautiful day for a Glaber. A Ledmus Diaz. This is a cool card here. Award winners Christian Yelich with Hammer and Hank on it. Pretty cool. I guess receiving the Hank Aaron Award. If I, if I recall correctly. Kind of hard to read that, but I believe it says Hank Aaron Award on that little plaque right there. Adam Frazier, pretty cool celebration picture there. Everybody's favorite rookie of all time, Ryan O'Hearn. We got a nickname Zilla for Blake, Blake Snell. Jose Altuve goal, that one's pretty nice. Going to the Astros, Big Harv. Ahmed Rosario. Alex Gordon. Here's a Juan Soto. And a Glaber Torres. So we got an Altuve gold out of that pack, which is pretty good. All right, let's see. What should we do next? Gallery? Yeah, let's do gallery. Gallery's pretty fun. Super excited for 2019 gallery. Gallery had all the good rookies last year, including this guy, Walker Bueller. We got Dylan Peters, Albert Pujols, Ted Williams. Nice. Ted Williams, isn't that a short print? I think these are short prints, right? Isn't over a certain number in gallery short print cards? It says Masters at the bottom, so I'm thinking that's a short print. And Drew Smiley for the Cubs. A penny sleeve, those two. Ted Williams, Masters. And the Walker Bueller rookie going to deafness. Second pack of gallery. Hall of Famer John Smoltz. Ozzy Albies rookie. Pretty good. Paul Blackburn. We got a Honus Wagner gallery. I think this is another... Uh, Oh, this is an insert. Hall of Fame gallery. And an Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola. Love gallery. He's a great, great set. I think it comes out at some point in November. Albie's rookie. Smoltz Hall of Famer card. Not sure if it's a short print or not. But it's a Hall of Famer, so it gets a sleeve. All right, second to last pack of gallery. We got a Jackson Stevens rookie. 
for the Reds. Buster Posey. Dominic Smith, rookie for the Mets. Bo Jackson, private issue. Numbered out of 250. Bo Jackson, numbered out of 250, going to the Royals. Uh, Deafness has the Royals, so a nice little pickup for Deafness there. And a Harrison Bader rookie guard. Harrison Bader rookie. I don't know if Bader's sleeve worthy yet. But I know Bo is. Especially when Bo's numbered out of 250. All right, last pack of gallery, folks. We got a Didi, Didi Gregorius. Acuna Jr., rookie. Very nice, going to the Braves. We got the Bravos. Waxman, an Acuna for you. Jose Barrios. We got an Ahmed Rosario masterpiece, rookie card. It's an insert. And a Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco. Jose Can You See. Waxman, he's still hanging out in Minecraft. It's a nice rookie card. Um, the artist on these cards, Kevin Graham. I don't know if you've seen, he has a YouTube channel. If you search for, I think it's called Kevin Graham Art, uh, but he does a he has a YouTube channel, and uh, he also opens packs and stuff, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> wax is happy, awesome wax. All right, gonna go on to Optic, 2018 Optic. Um, but yeah, definitely check out uh, Kevin Graham's art channel. He talks about uh, doing the portraits and stuff for tops. I like Optic. Really cool brand. We got a Luis Severino, New York. Willie Calhoun, rated rookie uh, hollow or prism, whatever they want to call it. Alex Bregman, bronze, I think these are called. Alex Bregman, bronze. And speaking of Glaber, Glaber Torres, rated rookie. Very nice. Very nice Amio. Of course, Amio always... Racks up on the Yankees cards when he gets in the break, if he can help it. Bregman. I'm going to sleeve up all these chrome cards because they scratch super easy. Even old Willie Calhoun gets a sleeve. And the Luis Severino base. That's right, Amio. Glaber Torres, rated rookie. All right, second packet, Optic. We got a Just Dingers Martinez. King Griffey Jr. going to the Mariners, Waxman. Got another of these uh, bronze cards, and it's a variation. It's Nick Williams, but it says Nicky Dubs at the bottom. So a bronze variation for the Phillies going to Terry B., and a Gary Sanchez, All-Stars, going to the Yankees. A lot of Yankees. But that shouldn't be surprising. There's always a lot of Yankees in every set. Nicky Dubs. And Just Dingers Martinez. I didn't mean to put these two over here. All right. 2018 Donruss Fat Pack. 30 cards. Let's get into this bad boy. Lots and lots of cards in here. Garrett Cole with Pittsburgh here. Please don't tell me these are going to be all backwards and stuff. Uh, Matt Carpenter. Got a Miggy Cabrera throwback. Aaron Judge. Kutch. We got a Max Scherzer. Chris Bryant throwback. This one's upside down and backwards. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray stat line. 153 Ks in 2017. So this is numbered 67 out of 153. 
going to the Yankees. Imagine that. Sunny Gray. We got a Noah Syndergaard here. Noah Syndergaard blue parallel. Going to the Mets. Pretty cool Nolan Ryan here. Nolan Ryan throwback. Kirby Puckett variation. Reese Hoskins rated rookie going to the Phillies. Going to the Phillies. Terry B. Got a Gerald Dempsey Posey variation. Clayton Kershaw, the big hurt, going to the White Sox. You want the Sonny to go to uh, Danny? Will do. Sonny Gray will be headed to 12 Again Sports and Outdoors. Thank you, Amio. Got another Willie Calhoun here, rated rookie. Corey Seager. Mike Trout. Alex Verdugo, rated rookie. Manny Machado. Cody Bellinger. Christian Yelich. Duke Snyder. Stars in Cincinnati. Tony Perez and uh, Concepcion. I believe that's who it's on it. Yep. Perez and Concepcion. Pretty cool little guard there. Nelson Cruz. Alex Wood. Brian Dozier. Mad Bum. KC Masterpiece with Hosmer and Locaine. And a Zach Grinky. So those packs are pretty cool. I like those Donruss fat packs. A lot of cards in them. Let's leave up these two rookies right here. Verdugo. And Reese Hoskins. Where'd my stickies go? Post it so they are. I'm just going to make sure I label that uh, sunny gray to go to 12 again. Appreciate that, Amya. That was awesome. All right, 2018 Diamond Kings. 2018 Diamond Kings. So remember, folks, when we are finished ripping the packs... Do not go away because I got some freebies to random off. We got Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks. Uh, Jacob DeGrom, Gallery of Stars. That's pretty cool. Got a backwards show hay here. Let's see what it is. It's a variation. Japanese Babe Ruth. Pretty cool little card there. Shohei Rookie. And an Anthony Santander Rookie. And Harry Walker. So pretty cool little Shohei there. Japanese Babe Ruth. I haven't seen that card before. That's pretty cool though. All right. Moving into 2018 Bowman Platinum. So the really cool thing about this break is when y'all get your packages from me, it's not just going to be one set. <laughs> you have all these mixed sets in there. So good luck on the Bowman Platinum. Chris Archer. Salvi Perez. Yoan Mankata. And JB Bukowskis. Bukowskis. Man, that pack was a dud. That was a dud Bowman Platinum pack. Hopefully the second one's better. Alright, so I saw the back card. The back card's a little bit better. Corey Seager, John Lester, Trevor Rogers, backwards card, and it's a Prismatic Prodigies, Trevor Rogers going to the Marlins, going to Big Harv, and a Estevan Floreal, Estevan Floreal, big prospect for the Yankees, yet again another Yankee, Estevan Floreal. Let me uh, sleeve this Prismatic Prodigies as well. Because it's kind of shiny. The crows might try to steal it from me. It's so shiny. Alright. We got three packs left. Two packs of Archives and one Chronicles. 
So good luck everybody on these last three packs. Once again, I appreciate everybody that bought in. Everybody that's hung out for the break. I really do appreciate it. We got a Vladdy Daddy. Vlad Grimero Sr. We got a Lefty Grove. George Springer. Jesse Winky Winker. Zach Winky Grinky. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman disappeared this playoffs. Jeff McNeil rookie card. And a Christian Stewart rookie card. So the best card of that pack was probably the McNeil. I would say it was the Freddie Freeman. But Freddie needs to start showing up in the playoffs. Freddie had a bad playoffs. All right. Last pack of archives, and then to the last pack of the break. Whitey Ford, Hall of Famer. Lucas Giolito had a really good season. Jamison Tyone for the Pirates. Marcus Stroman, now with the Mets. Ken Singleton. Uh, this is one of those Expos cards. 50 years Expos. Ken Singleton. Expos will go to the Nationals. Uh, who got the Nasty Nets? Amio. Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer. This guy used to be really good. Chris Davis. And a Trevor Story for the Rockies. Nothing really going in that pack either. Alright everybody, last pack of the break. It is Chronicles. Five cards. Good luck. All right, we got a Fathead. Fathead Alonzo. So, Amio, you did get an Alonzo, and it's a fatty. A Fathead Alonzo. Pretty nice. Brendan Rogers, Rookie for playoff design. Chris Bryant. Phoenix design. Love Phoenix. Phoenix is a great design. So shiny. We got a Michael Chavis rookie card. Boston and the final card is Jason Martin Jason Martin uh, what is a Spectre what is the S status status baseball another Ricky card alrighty so let me sleeve up these Chronicles because they super shiny Chavis isn't a bad card Brendan Rogers, Ricky, and of course, Big Meat Pete, Giant Head Scorecard, Ricky, for Mr. Amio Tinney. So congrats everybody for the cards that we hit, or the cards that we didn't hit in this break, but I can tell you what. One thing I love about budget breaks like this is there's definitely a lot of cards to sort through. No, oh, I also forgot to set aside the hits from these uh these packs right here. So we had the Longo. We had that. Two low rookies kind of a hit too. There was a Pete Rose in there too. Appreciate that, Scotty. Remember, y'all don't go anywhere. I got a couple prizes to random off. So, quick recap Buster Posey Manu Patch. I couldn't pull that Alonzo, then I get three this week. <laughs> Thanks for the break. You're welcome, buddy. We got a uh, Evan Longoria game used jersey from uh, Allen and Ginter. We got a Pete Alonzo big head card, Chavis rookie, McNeil rookie, uh, Trevor Rogers, Prismatic Prodigies, Floreal from Bowman Platinum. We got an Otani variation, Japanese Babe Ruth, that's a cool card. Reese Hoskins rookie, Alex Verdugo rookie, Noah Syndergaard blue from 2018 Donruss, uh, Nick Williams bronze rated rookie, 
Glaber Torres rated rookie. Uh, Alex Bregman bronze. Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie from gallery. Med Rosario rookie from gallery as well. Got a Bo Jackson private issue out of 250. We got a John Smoltz. Another Ozzy Albies from uh, gallery. We got a Honus Wagner Hall of Fame insert from gallery. Walker Bueller rookie. Ted Williams Masters. I believe this is a short print. Jose Altuve Gold from Big League. Loriano rookie. Kyle Tucker rookie. Jeff McNeil rookie. And a Kyle Schwarber Blue from opening day. So pretty cool little break there. I will have to get to sorting. And I will get these shipped out. I'll probably get a couple shipped out by tomorrow. But if not, the rest will be out in the mail by Friday. Uh, Amio actually is going to get a little extra because Amio won this pack for me a while back and I never shipped it off. He said, hold it until I have something else to ship him. Well, I got something else to ship you, Amio. So you're getting that repack. And that was from a while back from a live stream I did a while back. So without further ado, let's get to the prizes. All right, so I have everybody on the wheel here. Let's uh, show the wheel. Okay, so I'm going to roll this, or I'm going to spin it, not roll it. Uh, I'm going to spin it three times. I got three prizes to give away. Let me uh, move a couple things first. So I need to be able to get to this box over here. You know what the problem with breaking is? You end up with cards everywhere by the end. Wrappers. Alright, so these first two are for uh, what I call fivers. Um, each of my uh, cards that are valued over $5 according to Beckett, uh, I kind of threw on a list. So two of you are going to win uh, two fivers. And the last person that I pick or that the wheel picks is going to win a free spot in the next pack mixer break. So good luck everybody on the extra wheel spins. So let's go ahead and shuffle this just a few times. And go for a spin. Good luck everybody. So the first name that comes up. Of course, your name is there by the amount of slots that you bought in. So, Amel, you have four slots on here. And the winner of the first extra card is going to be Amyo. No, oh, my pass you by, Amyo. Yep, it's going to be Terry B. Congrats, Terry B. You won a fiver card. So, I'm going to shuffle these up. Now, these cards aren't just $5 cards. These, there's a card on here that's book valued at $200. Uh, there's a few cards on here that book at over $25. So, we'll see what you get. <laughs> Reindeer Studio says no whammies. It's the wrong game show. <laughs> I used to love that show as a kid. Press your look. All right. And... Terry B, you are also going to win a Dansby Swanson from Contenders. Dansby Swanson. Let me see if I can find out where that is. It's the game day ticket. Let me go ahead and pull that card for you real quick. All right, so that one's good to go. All right, let's remove that one from the list. And I'll hide this for a second so you can see your Dansby. Here's your Dansby Swanson. Uh, this was 2015, so it was before Dansby made his pro debut, so this could be considered a pre-rookie card. Go on to Terry B.,
that one is yours. We'll bring up the wheel again. We'll jump back to the names. So Terry, I gotta remove you from the list. All right, I'm gonna shuffle it a couple more times. The next person will also win a card. So good luck. Do, 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 do. When's it going to stop? Is it ever going to stop? Amio, you're so close. Big horror's right there. Danny, is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? Waxman, I think you got this one, bud. <laughs> Congrats, Waxman. You also win a fiver. A fiver or more, I should say. So let's shuffle these a couple times. Give it a spin. Give it a whirl. Good luck, bud. And it also looks like it's going to be contenders. Oh, you got an auto. Chris Betts autograph. Congrats, bud. I don't know who Chris Betts is, but you got an auto of his. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is he at? All right. Found him. We'll give you a peek at this card. Here's your Chris Betts auto from 2015 Contenders. Congrats, Waxman. Awesome time to bet. <laughs> All right, Waxman. Appreciate you jumping into the or to the break. Let's remove this. Let's go back to the wheel. One last prize to give out. Unfortunately, Waxman, you are not eligible for it. But the last prize we are giving out is none other than a free slot in the very next pack mixer pack mixer break. So shuffle this a few times. Good luck, everyone. And let's see who wins. You'd like to buy a vowel. It looks like it's going to be Deafness. Congrats, Deafness. I know you're not in the room. But Deafness got a free spot in the next break. Congrats, Deafness. All right. So, Amyo, 12 again, Big Harv, and Reindeer Studios. Unfortunately, you did not win any extras. But what I'm going to do is, the next time you are in one of my pack mixers, I'm going to give you an extra entry on the final wheel of spins. To give you a little boost on the next, uh, next time you're in. And you, Reindeer Studios. Plus one. Free break to deafness. All right, a little bookkeep in there. So as everybody can see, Deafness, free break. Amio, 12 again, Big Harv, Reindeer Studios. Uh, next time you are in one of my pack mixer breaks, I'll give you an extra entry on the wheel. In addition to however many spots you buy into that break. Awesome. Thank you, Amio. Thank you, Scott at Reindeer Studios. Thank you, everybody that jumped in. Terry B., you as well. Terry B, do you do videos? I don't think I've ever been on uh, on your channel. Let's see. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. All right, well, 
Why'd my chat just disappear? That was annoying. All right, let me turn my uh, autofocus back off. So I got a little bit of sorting to do tonight. And I'll get all y'all's cards packaged up and hopefully into the mail tomorrow. Um, if y'all are interested in doing this again, I had a lot of fun doing this break. I thought it was really cool with the, the random packs and the chaos of it all. thought it was pretty fun. Um, but if you're interested again... Not yet, Terry? Cool. Uh, if y'all are interested again, I will have the next break probably up either tomorrow or Friday on the website. And I'm changing up how the shipping works because I don't like how it's how it charges the shipping in case you want to come back and buy more slots. So I'm going to do it more like AIAB does on his where you can buy into the breaks and then I'll just hold on to your cards for how long as you want me to. And then when you're ready, you can buy a shipping voucher for four bucks or for six bucks. If you got like a lot of cards that I need to ship out to you, uh, your shipping is going to be six dollars. But you can just pay for shipping whenever you're ready. But all these are going to be shipped out because all of you have paid for shipping already. But coming up in the future, I will hold your cards um, for, for as long as you need me to. That way you're not constantly paying for shipping every break. I don't want you to, you know, I want you to get the most out of your shipping money, I should say. All right. So if anybody's got any questions or anything, uh, let me know. If not, I'm going to sign off for the night and let you jump into some of the other live streams. Pretty sure BITG is on tonight as well, as he is most nights. Um, but yeah, yeah, thank you all for jumping in. And I'm going to get to sorting and watching some other streams. So y'all, y'all have a good night, and I thank you once again for jumping in. Had a lot of fun. All right, y'all. See you.